For this project, we're going to need the pattern piece that you can download from my website. There's a link in the description. This prints on two pages, so you're going to have to cut along the dash lines and tape it together. Then cut out your pattern piece. Use it to cut out two main pieces of fabric on the fold. So these two pieces will open up to be my long tie. And then cut one interfacing also on the fold. This is lightweight, fusible interfacing. You're also going to need an iron, one cam snap, and this is the cam snap placer set. And a point turner is really useful in this project. So the first thing we're going to do is fuse the interfacing to the back of one of the main pieces. And make sure the rough side is down on your interfacing so that the glue doesn't get on your iron. If your interfacing stretched a little, just clip off any excess. And then we'll lay this down with the right side up and place the right side of the other piece down and pin these together. Just want to make sure all the little corners and edges are matched up right. Once you have enough pins in there to hold it together, we're going to sew around this whole entire thing. There's a one quarter inch seam allowance, but we're going to leave about two inches open at the top here. Make sure you pivot around the angles, and when you get to these angles, if you want to reduce your stitch length to about 2.5, 2.2 or a little bit less, somewhere between 2 and 2.4, that'll help you not um, break through the stitching later. When you're sewing, if your lining fabric ends up being too big, just push off the excess fabric to the edge and we'll just trim it off. This happens because we interfaced the main fabric and the interfacing takes away any of that stretch that the fabric would have. So now after you've sewn all the way around on all the edges, except for a little opening at the top, we're going to trim the seam allowance down. So first clip the corners and then ease out to kind of just get that bulk away. Overall, we want the seam allowances to be less than a quarter inch, but I like to keep them a little bit more than an eighth. I think an eighth is just too small. So just trim it down. And when you get to the spot where you left the opening, I never trim that seam allowance because it'll make it easier for us to turn it if we have more to work with. So right here I'm not trimming, but I'll keep trimming on the other side. Okay, and then we're going to turn this right side out using this opening. Since this is such a long tie, it might get a little tricky. You might want to use a chopstick or um, scissors or a pen even to help you push it out. This point turner is good too. It'll help especially when we get to the end where there's little points. So just go ahead and push this out. I'm going to turn it to my pointy side and get those corners. Mm -hmm. 
When you've turned the whole thing, grab your iron and we're gonna press it pretty well. Just make sure you get all those corners and the edges really straight. And when you get to the center, we're just gonna make sure that we can tuck that opening under and make sure that the edges are gonna line up with the rest of your tie. Okay, and now we're just gonna top stitch this little opening. If you want to top stitch the whole thing, if you don't mind having that thread on there, go ahead and do that. Another option is if you don't want to top stitch, you can close this with hand stitching. Um, but I'm just gonna top stitch that one part. Okay, after you've sewn that opening closed, we're going to finish our tie by just adding one cam snap to hold it together. So it helps to lay it out with the short point points out. That's how we're gonna know where to put the cam snap. So um, you can put this on a shirt on yourself and decide where you want the cam snap, or you can use a ruler and measure up about two and a half inches from the short side, and then just place a little dot in the center there. So that's where we're gonna put the first one. And then we'll do the same thing, two and a half inches from this corner. Right here. So the most important thing with the cam snaps is that we wanna make sure we're putting the sides in the correct spot. So on the outside here, we know we're gonna put this cam snap down like this. And you can use this all to poke a hole for you. And then we're gonna put, I like to put the Audi one here, put that in. And then I'll place the cam snap just right in this little holder and squeeze that to place it. Okay, and then want to make sure that we're doing this one right so we need this any part to be on this side so that these can connect and then this will by default go on the back so I'm going to use the all here and I'm going to put this backing piece coming from the back and then put the, the any side right here So now I have my two snaps placed and these will snap together around the collar of a shirt to give you a cute accessory.